What time it is? What time is that? It's time for a chewy chat. What time it is? What time is that? It's time for a chewy chat. Hey, hey, hey. It's time for a chewy chat. If you guys are watching from my chewy chat, channel you guys aren't responding to me you guys aren't telling me what you want to see if you like the little bible studies the little prayers y'all you guys got to um comment down below let me know what you like if you want to see it or not if you're watching from somebody got it wrong thanks so much guys for watching my chewy chats as well i hope you guys are having a blessed day don't forget to thank the lord for all the good things that are happening in our life amongst all of the bad. Today is uh, September 21st. So I am going to read out of the Duck Commander again, guys. September 21st. And before I start reading, I am going to, of course, do what? Did you guys catch on? I should see in the comments what you're chewing on. What are you chewing on? First, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm chewing on. And no, 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 I don't have a mocha frappe today. I don't have any frappe, any protein drink, any ice. You guys, because of the virus going on, I am trying to just keep my immune system, keep my vitamins, and just um, whew, hope not to catch the virus or its symptoms. I uh, know how hard it is and how many people are catching it. So thanks be to God, I feel healthy and fine. But I am drinking some Tropicana orange juice today. And I have some sausage links, guys, that I put in the air fryer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the sausages that I'm about to receive in the orange juice. Let it help with the nourishment of my body. Thank you so much, Father. In Jesus' name, not only do we need physical food, we need spiritual food. Father, Feed us this day on your word. Help us to go out and make disciples. Help us to put on a display as one of your own. In Jesus' name, amen. So from September the 21st, this is bringing God's glory. As Jesus went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus, but this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. And this is from the book of John, chapter 9, 1 through 3. So the disciples was asking Jesus, who sinned? Why is this man born blind? They figured that uh, it had to be a consequence from sin that he was born blind, but Jesus was um, telling them no one sinned, his parents or no one. This was just a work of God. You know, this will be a work of God or so God can be glorified the way that Jesus was going to heal the man. So sometimes God, we have not because we ask not, right? So we bring glory to God just by having faith and understanding of what he can do and he will do. But sometimes we don't even ask. And sometimes we just figure things have to be this way. We have to be in turmoil. turmoil. We have to be in suffering. We have to be in uh, poverty. We have to be in these things because of our sin. But here, Jesus said, no one sinned. So, this is from Sai and his story. Even after all that Jesus has done for us, many folks still think that bad things only happen to bad people. Bad things happen to good people. That every harmful or evil thing that happens in God's direct 
punishment. Everything that happens is God's punishment. No, or God's will. No, I hear people say that all the time. Well, it's God's will that I never walk again, or I must be being punished for doing this or that. You guys, I'm going to start that over. <laughs> Even after all that Jesus has done for us, many folks still think that bad things only happen to bad people, that every harmful or evil thing that happens is God's direct punishment. Hey, people. People, hey, we live in a broken world. Bad things happen to all of us, good and bad. In the verse above, Jesus gives us a direct take. He explains that some bad circumstances, not all, not all, mind you, but some bad circumstances exist simply to display the greatness of God and to impact watchers with his glorious power. This concept helped me to be patient while he is doing his work on and through me. As God works on me and God works through me, we must be patient. And understand that things are not always punishment. Things are not always because of sin. Bad things happen to good people. But bringing God glory by having faith and trust in God that we can come through it. So the prayer here. Father, I want to live through the hard times in a way that brings glory to you. Please help me to see your hand at work in me always through Jesus name you guys bring out the glory bring out the glory for God bring it out you guys pray ask God whatever it is nothing is possible without God and all things are possible with God God, who are you asking for help? Or are we just accusing God and saying, oh, this is because God is punishing me? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's not always the case. Although a father does discipline, and there are consequences for your actions, but it's not always the case. In most cases, when you don't know what you did wrong, you haven't done anything wrong. So, ask God and don't be afraid. And don't feel like you've done anything wrong. I missed you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Keep praying. Have faith. And realize as long as you're breathing, it's not too late. God loves you and so do I.